Hey guys, I am back with another video and first things first, I'm sorry about the background. I'm actually staying at my mom's until I figure out where I'm going to get this money to get my own apartment again. Um, so I'm staying at my mom's and she's like kind of in the middle of moving out of the state. So it's a mess. So I'm sorry about that, but I still wanted to come and do an, uh, a recent video because some of the videos that I have been posting are like... Um, videos that I recorded in my old place before I had to move out um, and things like that so I wanted some new content so I went wig shopping with my mom and we bought her a wig weeks ago like last week and then this week I was like okay I want to buy a couple wigs so I can protective style through the winters um, not I'm not gonna be wearing wigs all winter but I wanted to have the option that if I wanted to I can just throw something on so that's what I did I picked up three wigs but today I'm just gonna be showing you one I may come back and show you the other two at some given point throughout this season um but this particular one I picked this up because I just really liked the way that it felt I actually had picked up another style which was like kind of like a TWA and I liked the way it felt but it only had it in purple and I didn't I can't wear purple here to work um I probably could have gotten away with it because it wasn't like bright purple it was kind of like 1b purple but it was really really short so I probably could have got away with it but I didn't end up getting this one but I wanted that felt the the way the hair felt I like the way it felt so I just found another wig that was um the same brand same kind of hair and things like that and it was funny when I saw this hair this is actually this is actually the hair that I used to buy when I used to wear sew-ins like back in the day when like buying packs of hair was like a thing you know it wasn't all about bundles and stuff this was like you know back then before I you know went natural and things like that Nonetheless, I digress. Um, the wig is this hair. It is by Saga. And it is the Brazilian Remy hair, which would, which is kind of like, duh. I like the way the hair is felt because this used to be the only packaged hair that I bought because I think this was like, this was the only packaged hair that I bought and it came in the length that I wanted and things like that. And I like the way it felt. Whatever. Nonetheless, I like the way it felt. This is 100% human hair, and this style is called Pink Berry, and it is in a color 1B. And it comes in 1, 1B, and 2. I wish it came in, like, other colors as well. But, nonetheless, this is her. Um, so I'm going to go through, show you guys how I put on, how I style it, how I have my hair underneath. Um, and then I will be back at the end of the video. So if you guys want to see how I... And rocking this hair then keep on watching so this is how my hair is under my wig I just have it in four plaits which are moisturized and I'm gonna put a wig cap on just so everything lays flat I do still have my undercut so you know I gotta just lay it flat um, this wig does not have any combs but it does have an adjustable strap in the back which I set those before I put on my head and I'm just going to go in and fit it on my head and it actually fits really, really nice. I didn't find, I didn't use any bobby pins. I didn't do anything to make it more secure. I actually felt very secure with just the straps in it. And I'm just going to go in and style and comb and see how I want it to lay on my head. For you guys who have been watching me for a long time, I have not worn a wig or anything like that in a long time. I think the last wig that I wore, I actually wore the Finger Comber Havana unit. That was the last time I've worn a wig, um, and that was a couple years ago. Um, usually in the wintertime, if I do productive style, I just do braids or, you know, just cover my own hair with my turban or something like that. So I haven't worn a wig in a long time, but I actually wanted to do something different this season. So this is why I picked up a wig, and this is a totally different wig than I would have ever picked um, a couple years ago as well. Mainly because it's a straight wig, and secondly because it's a very short wig. Um, but I did end up really liking it, actually. And like I said, once I get back in like my own environment, my own you know, place and things like that, I'll probably go in and bevel it and make it more fitting, but it actually fit really nice. I'm just showing you guys the back of how it sits 
on my hair. I think it actually helps that I <laughs> have my undercut so that back looks really neat. So that's pretty much it for the styling, guys. Okay guys, so that is pretty much it for the video. You can style it however you want. Um, I literally put it on, I don't even, uh, it went like this, like this was a mirror. Um, I didn't really style it too much. A lot of people say don't wear the hair right out the package, but with shortcut styles like this, I feel like you can wear it straight out the pack. It's already bumped. I don't have, you know, I'm not at home, so I don't have like a lot of my hair tools and flat irons and all that kind of stuff so I'm just gonna rock it like this um so I, I actually like it I might go back and find another hairstyle with this brand this is the whole package I didn't show it in the beginning but um this is the whole package um I may go back and see if I can find some more with this hair texture because I actually really really like it or I am going to try and make a wig like this that I could cut like put some color in it or whatever like some red or something I don't know but anyway I want to come through and show you guys this really quick I really really hope you guys enjoy let me know if you like these videos I don't know when I'm gonna be back in my own studio my own apartment or anything like that so if you are seeing me in different environments I apologize early because this is just what it is right now if you guys want to help out and support my channel and things like that make sure you enter the raffle the link is down below um, I would really really appreciate that raffle start at one dollar so go down there purchase a raffle I'm gonna be um, selling them until I reach my goal which is 5,000 so once I reach 5,000 raffles I will do a giveaway and I will be giving away five sets of possibly more, but a minimum of five sets of my favorite hair care products from different brands, from five different brands. Um, so I will have that link down below for you guys to check out. Also check out my blog channel. I posted all of the vlogs from when I went to St. Croix. I actually posted on this channel as well, uh, but I post vlogs and things like that on my blog channel, which will be linked down below. Um, a link, if I can find the link for this wig, I will link it down below. I did find this at my local beauty supply store, so you may want to check there first. Um, if not, if I can find the link for it, I will have this link down there as well if you guys want to check it out. So that's really nice. I actually ended up, it says $19.99, but I think I paid, it was like on sale, it was like $14 or something. Okay. Um, it's a very inexpensive way of cute symbol something you just throw on and go if you're just running to the grocery I'm actually headed to an interview so um and my hair wasn't done and I didn't feel like wetting it this morning and all of that so um I want to start getting ready so I can head out um but I hope you guys enjoy this video let me know if you guys want to see more wig videos I will definitely do them in the future because I do have two more I did post one already on my Instagram so if you want to see the other wig that I bought um check that out there again that picture I wore that wig right out of the package I think she look I think she cute you know I think she cute and probably once I'm like back in my house I can like bump it a little bit more and things like that I just you know like I said I'm not in my own place right now so I'm at my mom's house so I don't have all this stuff. All that stuff is in storage. And you can like fluff her out a little bit. Give it a little zoom in. So that's the thing. Anyway, so hope you guys enjoy. I really like it. I hope you guys do too. Um, again, this is, you know, it's going into the fall, into the winter. So I protect the style literally from usually September till about April. So I do protective style for most of the year technically. October, November, December, January, February, March, April. Yeah. Technically, for the most of the of like the year, I protective style. Every time you guys really see my hair out during the fall and the winter time is if I'm reviewing reviewing a product or something like that, then I will wear my hair out. But I'm not gonna I'm honestly until I like figure out what I'm gonna do, where I'm gonna be living and all that kind of stuff, I'm probably not gonna be doing much product reviews I may be doing like some hairstyles and things like that with the products I already have right now my holy grail product through this transition I have not been using any other products the only products I have been using are my products from moisture love they have been holding me down because the rest of my products are in storage and I didn't go to circle of sisters this year um so I didn't buy any new products as well um so 
the only products that I brought here to my mom's house were my products from Moisture Love and they have been holding me down. I wanted to put that out there as well just because I do try out different products and, and things like that and you guys have seen that but there are products that I truly truly love and that I know that I can only use. Most of us do have our like holy grail products that we use and we just try out other things in between but the Moisture Love products are like my holy grail staple products right now currently mainly not mainly but one because I know the whole line works together very well so there was no need for me to pick a shampoo from here conditioner here deep conditioner like I didn't need to do that I just those four products from their line is all that I've been using in like eco styler gel like if I'm doing wash and go or something like that but it's literally all that I've been using these past about two months that I've been staying with my mom so I don't need anything else once I get back into my own space and my own routine, obviously I will be uh, incorporate some of my other Holy Grail products, which you can find all of those products on my website. Um, I will have that link down below, um, so you guys can check out that list and links to those um, my like my Holy Grail products with the Moisture Love products are on that list as well. But right now I've just been using that set from Moisture Love, and if you guys want to pick up Moisture Love, I will link that down below as well so you guys can check it out because their products are really really great and you really don't need anything else if especially like going through this like winter protective style phase like literally all I need is a good moisturizer a good sealant and I'm good to go so those four products are it probably between now and when I find my own place um and things like that so nonetheless all the links for everything that I talked about in this video will be down below. Um, and I will see you guys next time. I'm sorry this video was so long. It was so not needed to be this long. But I wanted to get everything out. So I didn't have to make multiple videos. Okay? Okay. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.